Welcome to our project demonstration on forest fire prediction using Celera Automata and machine learning. This system aims to predict the forest fire risk levels and simulate the fire spread visually for better forest management and early intervention. And this is the data set. The data set we use it includes features like temperature, humidity, uh, wind speed, rainfall, several fire weather indices. Each record is labeled to indicate the presence of and absence of fire risk. These real world environmental parameters serves as critical inputs for accurate precisions. And the algorithms we use it and the algorithms we use it uh, we implemented three machine learning algorithms random forest, decision tree and XGBoost. These algorithms are known for their ability to handle classification task efficiently and provide insight into the importance of feature and the, this system works in two major phases first it uses machine learning to classify whether a region is at risk forest fire second it uses cellular automata to simulate the spread of fire over a grid based environment parameters this simulation is implemented using python and pygame and we have to run this by terminal by entering python app.py it goes to a flask interface and here this is the link where our web system is running and this is the interface and let's walk through the interface when we run the program right when we run the program we first pre-process the data set and train the selected ML models. After training the model predicts fire risk from new environment inputs. Based on the prediction, the cellular automata simulation shows how a fire could potentially spread across forested grid area. Let's see here. This is that and here temperature in Celsius and RH means rel relative humidity and rain and wind speed and FFMC means uh, fine fuel moisture coat uh, and DMC. DMC means duff moisture coat and DC means drought coat and ISI means initial spread index and BOI means build up index and FWI means fire index overall prediction. And by entering here the values like 30 for 30 degrees Celsius and 40 is the relative humidity and 15 is the wind speed and rain is 0 in centimeters and the fuel moisture code is 88.5 for an example and DMC is 6.0 and and DC is 15.2 and the ISA is 5.3 and BUI is 10.0 10 and the FWI is 6.8 and here we can see there are three models random forest decision tree and XGBoost by clicking this we will get the prediction by this according to that model if we click here random forest we will get high fire risk and same as for here also same the same thing and here we added a clear button to clear everything and by go back and here is the charts And this is the accuracy. The accuracy of random forest is 55.6 and for decision tree it is 53.94 and the XGBoost it is 53.11. While the accuracy is moderate it provides a foundation for further improvements through better data or model tuning. And the confusion matrix and classification report would highlight the model's ability to correctly predict fire prone zones. It provides precision recall F1 score for both fire and non-fire classes, helping us understand the model strengths and weaknesses. Here you can see by going back, here this is the fire spread simulation. Here you can see, here you can see we can upload an image of fire, means it's a graph of the fire forest you can see the simulation action each cell represents a part of forest cells and 
turn red as fire spreads based on the conditions like dryness and wind speed. And if we click on start fire, it grows on all directions. See spread firing. And we can change here direction also. Here we can see north. So it spread on north side only. Same and same thing. And this is the exit button for exiting. And go back. And in conclusion, our project provides a basic yet functional framework for forest fire prediction and visualization. In the future, we plan to improve model accuracy, include satellite data in real time, and deploy the system on a web based interface with IoT support. And thank you for watching our project demonstration. We hope this system contributes to safer forest management and better environment protection. Thank you.